Now it's one of Britain's earliest tourist attractions and now for the first time in 150 years visitors to Stowe near Buckingham will be able to see its world famous gardens the way their Georgian designers intended. The gateway to Stowe House and Gardens has been completely restored by the National Trust at a cost of £9 million. Nicky Mitchell reports. And Claire, the new inn, oh, Brian. Hey. The new inn is one of the country's first visitor centres, built in 1717 to house Georgian tourists eager to see Stowe, the great show house of its time, basking in the most extravagantly elaborate landscape gardens. I've got, if not the original, one of the original uh, guidebooks to Stowe, which was printed in 1769, and it's lovely. It comes with a wonderful engraved map. This is the finest landscape garden in the world and it's at the epicentre of, of the English landscape movement. No garden can boast having Vanborough, Capability Brown, William Kent, Gibbs, Bridgman. And to me, they're, they're the names of gods, you know, who created this landscape. This was a big movement. We're never going to see anything like this again. And you have here the most perfect and beautiful example of it. To come and spend a day in 250 acres of landscape ground is a great delight. The restoration of the new inn from a crumbling, derelict wreck has taken seven years. I used to stand here some dull autumn afternoons and really feel quite down because you used to think, how on earth are we going to do this? These buildings are in appalling condition, but we have and it's looking fantastic. This is where the aspiring middle classes, the people coming out, uh, the day tourists would have come and eaten in this room. And they're over in this room here, this is where the uh, workmen would have had a, a beer at the end of the day. So this must have been where the beer was served? Uh, yes, this is the tap room. This is where the beer was kept, served out through that hatch there. And it's clearly where money changed hands, because under the floor we found um, coins from 1796. Wow. I was born in 1925 on a loom over the entrance. So. I had 10 years living in the new inn. So I feel very happy that it's in the state it is now. It looks jolly good. And no National Trust garden would be complete without the obligatory cafe and shop. To celebrate the great restoration of one of the country's first visitor centres back at the gate, entry to Stowe's rather lavish gardens is free for the whole of this weekend. So you can experience Stowe as those first Georgian tourists did all those years ago. Nikki Mitchell, BBC Oxford News.